This week's element is element 20, revising knowledge. The desired effect of element 20 is that students can examine, explain, and revise previous content to deepen understanding. The framework focus newsletter will be highlighting the last element in design question three. This week's focus is element 20, revising knowledge. The desired effect of revising knowledge is that students can examine, explain, and revise previous content to deepen understanding. As students interact with new knowledge, they begin to make partial sense of the content. To deepen understanding, learners experience extended exposure to the content over time, which sharpens and adds to their knowledge base. When students add and clarify their learning of new content, they should engage in revision activities to record additional information, as well as correct errors and clarify distinctions from previous understanding of the content. Here are ways students can revise knowledge. They can provide feedback to students on their academic notebook entries, Provide students with a scale or rubric that allows them to self-evaluate their academic notebooks. Consider making comments on a student's assignment and recording the score only in the gradebook and not on the student's assignment. Offer students the opportunity to revise their assignments according to the feedback given and resubmit it to attempt a higher score. This quote speaks to the application of revision strategies. Revision of knowledge involves correcting errors, and misconceptions, as well as adding new information. Next, three strategies of revising knowledge will be discussed. The three strategies, strategies consist of academic notebook entries, academic notebook review, and peer feedback. In using academic notebook entries, students can make new entries in their academic notebooks after a critical input experience after groups work or processing, or after homework has been reviewed and corrected. Over the course of a unit and during related units, students should revisit their notebooks to correct inaccuracies or incomplete information. For the strategy of academic notebook review, students can use academic notebooks to identify and record important terms, big ideas, concepts, generalizations, understandings, and generate questions about what they should review for an upcoming class discussion, review game, exam, or quiz. Lastly, peer feedback is beneficial for revising knowledge. In this strategy, students can trade academic notebooks with their peers to respond in writing to each other's entries. Their response can be guided by varying question prompts. Some prompts include, what information did the student record that I did not record in my academic notebook? What do you consider the most important information recorded here? Or what appropriate way did the student record the information? For example, graphic organizers, pictures, summaries, or flowcharts. To summarize design question three, lessons designed to practice and deepen knowledge typically begin with a review of the previously taught content. After the review, the teacher uses multiple techniques to assist students in deepening their understanding. For many of these activities, students are organized in groups. These activities are usually conducted in a class, but can also be completed for homework. Finally, many of these lessons end with students revising previous notes about the content or adding entries in their academic notebooks. To help students practice and deepen knowledge, plan for review and revision of content. Choose strategies to best achieve the desired effect. Plan for ways to organize students in groups to do the activities. And plan for purposeful homework when appropriate. My name is Tavia Wright. I teach third grade at Oaks Elementary, and we're going to be doing a reading lesson. 
In today's lesson, our learning goal is to compare and contrast two texts on the same topic to look at the key ideas and the details between them to gain a deeper understanding of the text. We're going to start off by going over the learning goal together as a class and then we're going to talk about why this is important and students are going to share their thinking. After that, students are going to go back into a text that we read this week to see some of the new information that they've learned about the Great Blizzard of 1888. They're going to compare this to a text that we've already read and then we're actually going to watch some videos that will give us more information about the Great Blizzard and students will take all of that information of what they learned to create a news report. Students will be revising their knowledge by using um, technology devices. They're going to be comparing notes that they've already taken in a program called EduCreations about the blizzard. And then they're actually going to be using their devices to take pictures of the text and see what the text has in common with the previous text about their learning with the blizzard. And then they're going to think about what is different that this text presented about the blizzard. Students need to know how to revise their knowledge so that they can gain a deeper understanding about any concept or the world around them. When they're learning things over time, they're exposed sometimes to multiple texts, videos, they even use pictures to research information, and they need to be able to adjust their thinking if some of their thinking was incorrect, or even know how to gain a deeper understanding by seeing what new information is presented to them. Class D, class. Yes, yes. We are going to review our learning goal that we've been working on this week. I have it up on the screen, and what I want you to do is practice with your partner what we're learning and use your gestures. Go ahead. A verb is a word. Jordan, go ahead and pull a stick. Raven, could you please demonstrate what we're doing today? In your mind first, why are we learning how to compare and contrast two texts on the same topic? Why? Think in your mind first. Think about a reason why this is important to do. Why should you learn how to do that? In just a second, I'm going to have you share with your partner, and then I want you to Type it up or put it up on your edu creations so that we'll be able to share later. Go ahead. Today I'm going to give you a chance to take notes with your partner and to see what you have learned from this text that added on to your understanding. <laughs> and then when you're done with that, you'll actually get to do like what Dylan M. did in his own life and watch some videos. We have a real life interview with a person who was actually in the blizzard and you'll get to see what you learn about that interview that will help you understand even more what happened during the blizzard. I'll answer afterwards. I'm going to walk around as you're collecting that information and I'm going to ask that you use a text code or a color when you're taking notes to show what is the new information that you're learning. Mirror with words. I want you to use a code or a different color when you're taking notes to show what's new about the Great Blizzard. Mirror stop. You did a good so, for example, like remember how I use colors for my notes? Mm -hmm. So, when you learn something new from this text, we'll how will you use a different color? Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. So, why don't you see what you guys have from the other text here, and then we'll see what this text added on for you and your okay. understanding about the blizzard. Do you feel like you learned anything new when you read this text? Okay. I group students sometimes based off of where they are on the learning scale so that students can perform at their own ability level and be challenged to move on to the next level. And then at other times, I'll have students paired with someone who's on the next level above them on the scale so that one student can act as the guide and the other one can get support. Ariana and Nicholas, can you guys share with me what, how you added on to your understanding about the blizzard after watching the videos? Well, like... The trains had snow covered all over them. How do you know the trains had snow covered all over them? Because um, we looked in the video. Can you show me? It looks like it was on the first one. Yeah, it was. Perilous? Yeah. 
And you didn't, you didn't know that before you had watched this video. Yeah. Because okay. we, we read the text first instead of watching the video. Okay. We were comparing two texts on the same topic. 